What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warring Aviators and the Super Rat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel and welcome to Weapons Explained, the series where I explain all of your favorite weapons and do my best to be kind of funny. Today we'll be doing my first suggested weapon of the series and that is the iconic Italian Punch Enhancer, Brass Knuckles. So before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know, I just relaunched my Patreon, so obviously, you know, if this is my first video you're watching, it probably doesn't apply to you, but if you enjoy my videos and enjoy the different types of videos I do on this channel and want to see more uh, and want to help me out and make them better, then definitely check out my Patreon. I have awesome, you know, uh, benefits for, you know, tiers that you can join all the way, ranging from... Uh, aviators, you can get some ninja masks, even a custom modern ninja hat or hoodie. All of that is an option for you guys. So, uh, links down below. Check it out if you uh, are so inclined. Help me! Help me! But anyway, back to the video. Knuckle busters are pieces of material shaped to fit around the knuckles in a fist. Often being made of different types of plastics, carbon fibers, and random types of metal and called paperweights for, you know, legal reasons. They are designed to preserve someone's hand and concentrate the force of a punch by directing it into a small, hard contact area on the weapon. Because punching people without breaking every single bone the punch hits is for noobs, it's just not okay. This fancy smashing tool that the Hulk would love also has a safety feature. Not for the target, of course, don't get me wrong, screw them. But the handle at the bottom helps spread the force of your punch to your entire hand and arm, keeping your own knuckles, arms, and wrists, and hand from breaking. Because with the Mafia, safety first. Seatbelts, so we can be safe. Now, legally, these fun paperweights may vary. Uh, but for all of my fans in Hong Kong, Australia, Belgium, Canada, Bosnia, Germany, Russia, Spain, the UK, and a long list of other countries, you're gonna have some trouble getting them to you. They're straight up illegal there. That's rough, buddy. It's honestly kind of surprising that they're illegal in Russia. That, that one took me. That one, that one threw me off a little bit, gonna be honest. However, for my U.S. boys, it is slightly different. The federal government doesn't regulate brass knuckles in any significant way. However, it is more of a state-to-state -state thing that uh, you need to look out for. Many states and cities prohibit the purchase and or possession of these tools. Some require that the owner be 18 years or older, and some states say that it just can't be called brass knuckles, hence the paperweight thing, you know. That's kind of where that comes from. There's even a couple states out there that say that if it's not made of brass, it's fine. If it's not made of brass, it's fine. Okay. So with that said, if you want to pair for yourself and it's legal where you are, big emphasis on if it's legal where you are, uh, check out some of the links down below. I have some uh, picked out for you that I thought was cool that I found online that you can get for yourself. And uh, if you use the links down below, it will actually help out this channel in the long run. And so if you want to help out the channel and you want your own brass paperweight, Check out the links down below. But uh, just like always, don't forget to do all the different YouTube stuff. Likes, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, if there's any new YouTube thing, I don't know. Do it. You know what to do. You, you're you on YouTube. You understand. It's 2020. I mean, honestly. Do I even have to tell you guys this by now? I really don't. So, until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out. <laughs>